Sparta. What is your profession? What's cracking, everybody? Mighty smart guy, Matt Zapala here. Hailing to you from Santorini. Oh my gosh, look at this view. Oh my gosh, what is your profession? What is crack a lacking? I think we got some decent internet here while we have it. This is uh, the island of Theria, AKA Santorini. Does anybody know who Theria is? We're doing a little bit of history lesson, so we kind of got it. I balled up on this type of stuff. So um, we're here. What's the, what's the name of this uh, city, sweeter? Thera. Uh, Thera, Thera, but uh, Thera. 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 So we're in Thera. We're in Thera on the island of Theria, aka Santorini. And uh, everybody knows Santorini, Greece, from the, uh, the white buildings on the side. And so listen, guys, I'm about to jump on a quick FaceTime video with my guys at the office because it's about. Uh, five o'clock here in Greece and uh, I'm about to jump on a meeting with my guys to say hello to them on a Monday morning and uh, what's going on Edgar Diaz hey man it's nice bright and early over there in California good to see you man um, but listen guys what is your profession you know th this is the biggest uh, this is the biggest question that poses most entrepreneurs is when you get started in business and people ask you what do you do and I remember telling myself when I was coming out the Marine Corps, I was having a hard time wrapping my mind around being an entrepreneur, being in financial services, being in the insurance industry. Am I a stockbroker? Am I a financial advisor? Am I an insurance agent? Am I this? Am I that? And if you guys watch that movie Sparta 300, by the way, the reason why I say that is because Santorini was first settled in by Spartans. Ah, a little factoid, but bet you didn't know that. And in that movie, he was asking the other army, the militia, that was joining Sparta on their way to fight the Persians, right? And he asked this militia, which was led by a general who didn't have a lot of confidence. He didn't have a lot of confidence. And he uh, was asking his soldiers, he goes, what's your profession? He goes, I'm a potter. What's your profession? Yeah, will you go buy those, baby? He goes, what, uh, what's, your, what's your profession? He goes, I'm a, I'm a blacksmith. What's your profession? I'm a farmer, right? And then King Leonidas, he goes to his army. He goes, Sparta! I'm trying not to yell right now. He goes, Sparta, what is your profession? What is your profession, right? And all of them said, ow, ow, ow. Why? Because they're soldiers. They were raised to be soldiers. From birth, they knew their destiny. From birth, they had trained physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. They were trained to do all that to fight to the betterment and the freedom and expansion and the defense of Sparta. So, what does this all mean? Here's what, here's what this means. What this means is that if you're an entrepreneur and you said, you know what, I may be a waiter right now. I may be a mechanic. I may be a United States Marine, but this isn't what defines me. This is a profession right now for a chapter of my life. And um, you guys are saying good morning. Good morning. What's going on? Eva, good morning. Good morning. Danny Banks, good morning. Cecilia, good morning. Ernie, good morning. Jackie, good morning. Monique, good morning. Back to my point is that if you are an entrepreneur, you say, listen, I am a financial professional that happens to own an insurance agency or I'm an entrepreneur that happens to own whatever, real estate, whatever. Own it. Own that title. Own what you do. Why? Because if you half step, and I'm this, I'm that, even though you're wearing the uniform of a soldier, even though you're wearing the uniform, suit, and tie of an entrepreneur, but yet you don't feel it, you're not confident in it, guess what happens? You're gonna get killed in combat. Your competition is gonna steamroll over you. And those that are confident in their business and confident in what they're delivering will win. They'll be in victory. So anyway, this is my, my message to you guys inspired here in Santorini with these whitewashed. By the way, does anybody know why these walls are washed white? Just want to drop that message to you guys. Christine, good morning. It looks beautiful out here. Uh, good. Very good, Christine. I'm glad you hear me loud and clear. You go out there and you own your business. Have confidence in what you do. Wrap your mind about why you're doing it versus what the title is. 
you know, when, when I look at what I do for a living, what I do for a profession, what I do for a business, and I have the opportunity, the unique opportunity, the distinct opportunity to change people's lives as an entrepreneur. To take an average and ordinary kid like me with no four-year degree, no two-year degree, a 2.2 GPA in, in, in high school just to get to the Marine Corps, to take the steps of entrepreneurship and to now walk in the streets, oh, look, at that, look at that flag, to now walk in the streets of Santorini with my wife. Sweetheart, you wanna say hi to everybody in a live video? Are you having a great time here? Yes, very uh, fun, very right? fun. Hello everyone. Uh, so my wife used to be a softball player, sales in um, um, medical equipment, she sold hospital beds. But uh, how, you living your, how you living your life as an entrepreneur? So, oh my gosh, look at this, look, look at his view. Look at that view. Look at that view. Unbelievable, that's our, that's our cruise ship right there. The Rap City of the Seas. What's going on, Lisa? That's right. That's right, Mrs. Moss. Own it. Own your profession. Own what your confidence. Know that you're changing people's lives, whatever it is that you do, specifically for guys that are watching me at PHP Agency, watching me at are in the financial services world. So much change needs to happen in the insurance industry today. So many guys need to stand up and own it and disrupt an old, outdated, overlooked industry, which is the life insurance industry. Look, look, look at these, look at, that, look at that island. By the way, that's where the legend of the Atlantis, that island right there, that's where the legend of the Atlantis comes from. So guys, appreciate you, just wanted to say hi. I'm about to jump on a full-timers meeting with my guys in Chicago. Just wishing you well from Santorini, stay posted. If you're watching this on Facebook Live, make sure you subscribe to our page. Hit like. Uh, look, I, think, I think my wife likes some gelato, baby. So, look at that smile. <laughs> Woo, I love that smile. Look at that smile. It's a gelato, baby. When in Rome? When in Rome? Oh. When in Santorino? What is Santorini? Aren't they all right? The same? That's right. Boom. That's my, that's my, that's my She's learning how to do social media. So, that's right, guys. Danny, that's right, you recruit those Spartans. You recruit some entrepreneurs, Danny. Recruit some entrepreneurs, not salespeople. Right, salespeople always jump from sales profession, sales profession, product to product. But true believers of their business is what we're after. Again, if you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you click like on Facebook. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube page and hit uh, notifications so therefore you can be alerted to the next time we upload the next video. Video. Stay tuned. We're going to be going to a few more other Greek islands here in the next several days. So make sure you stay posted. If you're watching also on Instagram, my stories, I'm posting all the time because sometimes we have decent internet on the ship. So wishing you guys well. Love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Own what you do. Until we meet again. Continue to live smart. Continue to live smart. And be money smart today. <laughs>